Marianne, just quick. Uh, what's your profile? Yes. Did you say that? Six two. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. Good. And and I have the um, let's see the uh, twenty seven fifty, the fifty four thirty two, the seven thirty one. Uh -huh. Split. Yeah, that's it. Uh huh. Very good. Yeah. Okay, I have yeah. to think because I don't I don't live human design anymore, you know. I mean <laughs> when in that same talk with Ra, he he was so excited about he was his whole new holistic analysis and and I was I had been helping him organize the event he was gonna do in Toronto and he was so excited and I was like, wow, it's so great. And he said to me, so what are your nodes? And I went, I don't know. And he, he went into shock. He said, what do you mean you don't know? I said, well, if you asked me like 15 years ago, I could have told you my nodes, but I just live me now. You know, my chart's gone, you know? It's <laughs> like, so I have to really think, <laughs> what's my chart and what's this? <laughs> I, you know, I never remember my variables, all of this stuff, because now I've gotten what I've yearned for my whole life. It's just me. So I don't live through a filter of human design. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's so I, I remember Ross' words in, in uh, I think it's a generator workshop on Ibiza where he says, you know, it's up to you generators to make this real. I'm just a messenger of this. It's just a concept still. It's up to you. And then the, that's how I, that's how I, I interpret you also where you are. I mean, you, you just found your generator in human design. Uh -huh, and now uh -huh. you're just your generator, right? Uh -huh, I mean, uh -huh. <laughs> you know? uh -huh. and luckily, luckily you have an interest for human design so we can still, the funny thing is, is that I retired last year. I'm now, I'll be 72, you know, and it was like oh. my husband asked me all these questions and, and I gave everyone a year till I actually stopped. So I actually started my full retirement like in December and then the pandemic came and it was like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> retirement's <laughs> over. Wow, really? <laughs> Yeah, no, it felt like uh -huh. I can't not be available now. Amazing. You know, it's just too important for so many people and mm -hmm. people who are new and people who have been involved for a long time. And yeah. Um, so you keep teaching courses? and No, I don't teach courses. Um, I did in the past. I, I, I only want to help people live it. That's, yeah. that's really where all my energy is. And, you know, I, like I was starting to say earlier, you know, I am a teacher, but I never consider myself a teacher. I, I feel, I mean, we're all human beings and I just, you know, did these certifications that allow me to do teaching, but I'm just human. And I feel that there's no hierarchy as far as someone you know, who's been in human design a long time like me, as opposed to someone who's new. We're just human. And, and it's so important for me to, to uh, yeah, just, just to be me with people, not that I'm the teacher and I have something oh. to teach, you know? <laughs> I, we, we, I, maybe it was a bit unfair of us the way we wrote you in the mail, but I mean, it, it's honestly the way I see it. I mean, as, as, a, as, a, as a nestor in the community, and I think it has to do, you know, just by you, you're leaving your design for, for, for such a long time and the one who's available in the community, obviously if Ra was here, I mean, it would, we would all kind of look to him still. So, so uh, I think it's, it's I think it's something I, I, I learned with my, my teacher, my first teacher in human design, Richard Bowman, that me as the student, I get to see, I, I get to kind of identify the authority in the teacher somehow. And, and, uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, and uh -huh, I, I believe uh -huh. it's really important yeah. for us, you know, to, 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 to identify. And, um, but, but I guess you're right. I mean, just as knowing you're a generator, it boils down to you. you 
I mean, the, 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 the power of the sacral, right? The life uh -huh. force, when, when it's just living itself, it's such an authority by itself. And, and I feel that, you know, um, when we're live with each other, we can, someone who's new, who's been living the world, you know, through the conditioning and the mind can really uh, feel and experience the different vibration coming from yeah. someone who's living it. Yeah. I think that's what you were saying. Yeah. With yeah. Beaumont, huh? And that's what I felt with Ra, you know, it was like, I mean, he was, whew, what a unique man, you know? I mean, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I mean, this ego manifest. <laughs> I'd be on the floor in the classroom <laughs> because I just felt this aura. Just, and I didn't even know aura back then. He hadn't taught aura. He only brought aura when I was already finished my first seven years. And it oh, was like, oh, that's why we have the strategy we have, you know? Uh -huh. I understood, you know, for me up until that point where he brought aura, I was like, well, this is the game plan. Okay, these are the uh -huh. rules. I have wow. to wait to respond, you know, the map, you know, but when the aura came, it was like, ah. Oh, that made sense, you know, I understood, but uh, yeah, um, I, I feel that it's the frequency and I also feel that um, it's, you know, he, he put a lot of emphasis on generators saying, you know, that it's up to us, we can change the world because I think he saw it in action. But my experience is it's each type can change the world. You know, like I look at you, Julia, and how quiet you are, just being present and not jumping in. You know what I mean? It's like that changes the world when each projector just sits in that yeah. space where the manifester informs. It's like, yeah. um, but he hadn't had much experience because... Um, not many people were living it back then. And, and you know, uh, um, so many people who had been with him already, they had been learning, um, you know, the information, the channels, the gates, the circuitry. So when he brought type, it was just another thing to learn interesting sequencing there uh, wow that must be uh, amazing to then get the types wow too you know after wow. all that and and i came to my first class i knew human design for three years and i had the books and everything but i never took a class but i did my first class was when he for the first time introduced the four types in america so i feel really lucky in that because that went in it was it didn't go in here it it really penetrated my form you know that this was for me the recipe for harmony for the planet you know this wow. this how I to be a question marianne uh, uh -huh. because w when we started our conversation we actually <laughs> talked about how connected we feel with each other and our communities through internet. So uh -huh. how do you feel this connection and basically mutual conditioning without actual physical aura interaction? Uh-huh. Can you ask me a yes, no question to get me going? Uh -huh. <laughs> do you feel the aura online? I mean, from... from <laughs> Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no. I feel the energy online. Uh, but you don't feel conditioned no. by, uh, even by extended uh, communication with uh, someone or by watching mm -mm. something? Mm -mm. No. no, because I'm just alone, which is beautiful in its own way, you know? What I feel is I'm touched by you both right now, you know, by Christo, you and you too, Julia, when you speak and you share, I'm touched. And it, 
it makes my own energy move in a certain way, but I don't feel your auras. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. that's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's such an invisible communication that happens when auras can be together. It's like all this information gets exchanged yeah. Yeah. without saying a word and online that can happen, but it's so wonderful to be able to be online yeah. in a gathering. I mean, yeah. I feel it's it's so important right now, um, probably one of the most important times in our history mm -hmm. that we can gather in this way to uh, come together, to listen to each other, yeah. you know, to... to um, because it's just all about becoming ourselves. So anything that can help anyone become themselves and to love themselves and relax into themselves because mm -hmm. there's yeah, not I mean, much relaxation on the planet, huh? I, I think this is, uh, Julia, I have to shoot in here, but I think this would is a great subject also to, to communicate. If, if we're talking about now the, the marathon again and the, what to yes, bring uh -huh. with. Actually, we, we, Andrea Raquel Wolf is also joining uh, on, on the marathon and I spoke to her and and I asked if she she would do a, a introduction to human design. Uh, mm. That's a very kind of you know general thing somehow, but but She's also, you know, as I understand it, into global cycles and tune into 2027 and kind of having a, an introduction to human design in, in the context of, uh, shall we say, the countdown to 2027. And, and coming to you, kind of bringing the inspiration further here, I can see also how your focus, I mean, on, on the type and, and kind of just being themselves, how... how, how how important that that is. That's the key, basically, to just kind of get through these times individually as, as we are uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. Instead of, I mean, it's very interesting to see all the factors that it's coming. I think it. I think it's very. I think it's it's um it's very constructed to know actually or, or get some ideas to 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 warm up the subconscious for what's coming, basically. But but in the end, it's it's just being ourselves, right? So that's uh, uh -huh. gonna. Uh -huh. Get us through I, it. So. I understand global cycles deeply. I did the course with Ra in um, Taos, New Mexico. It was a week long course. Wow. And it's something that I've been doing workshops with this for, I mean, 10 years or so. Um, and all I know about global cycles. <laughs> that my mind knows and understands the this and the that, it never could have thought of a pandemic. You know, it's like, I was shocked. Yeah. I was yeah. really shocked when this went around the world. So you wrote me, this newsletter that's been posted and reposted about that, uh, oh, really? you remember. <laughs> I'm not on Facebook, so I don't know. <laughs> All over the place, Marianne. It's uh, great. <laughs> and, and what I love is that, yes, it really helps to understand that we're in delusion and that there's shock coming and all of these things. It helps our mind, but unless we can live who we are, we, can, we can't relax in what's coming, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's, so I think for me, it's, it's, it's all about, um, you know, uh, helping people to just, you know, live their strategy and yeah. honor their uh, decision-making process, whatever that is, because with mental projectors and, reflectors they have a process so um because that's the only thing that's going to help people live these seven years and the transition you know when it's here and um i i i sense it's 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 just going to become more and more intense the closer we get you know yeah that it's like you 
mentioned, you know, we're not going back or you, Julia, I think you did, you know, it was it, Julia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You, we're not going back. There's no going back to anything, you know, yeah. we just go forward. Yeah, for me, I was really lucky and maybe <laughs> not in a good way, you know, to, to, to be in China just before this whole happened and see uh -huh. it from inside because uh -huh. I saw uh -huh. the Chinese system and how it works. And now what happens in my motherland in Belarus, if you heard, it seems to me like the rehearsal for the global process. Mm. Because what happens is that basically the system openly declares the country a concentration camp. Wow. So no. yeah, and it's been openly said basically. Wow. So there there's segregation and there are two kinds of people, those who work for the system, mm -hmm. and then they get to drive with cars that have no no numbers and they can hit other people and kill other people and they will never be judged because they wearing masks. Wow. Oh my God. I've got such chills with you saying that. Yeah. But this is, this is happening already in States locally. It yeah. is still not being kind of put on the table. It's still under the table, but we are, my brother just got out of jail yesterday and he's like a, you know, he's an IT person, he's a game developer and a very, very wow. high level of intellectual abilities. They don't care. No. He lives his life. They don't care. And that's yeah. why it's so important to, to keep going, to, uh -huh. to bring out this frequency, because uh, yeah. that's um, the only uh -huh. way to survive. Yeah. Otherwise, uh -huh. the fear is taking over. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, they, and, and they play up the fear all the time, you know, yeah. to keep the control. Yeah. I just on the topic, I mean, I, I I've, it's a, it's a confusing uh, little circus we have lived so far in 2020. And then, the, and, uh, but I, I don't know, it, it feels somehow right in everything, how it didn't fall somehow. I've seen some uh -huh. time, I mean, I've, I've saw early when the lockdown started here in Romania, how my mind uh, and the fear, you know, kicked in and uh, without knowing anything about this, um, mm. it quickly subdued this kind of first wave of this, this mental fear. And what I got to see also was that you know, the river started to get cleaner in the city because of less pollution. And, and um, there was just this spark of optimism in me that got filled to see that like, wow, humanity can change really, really fast, actually, uh, mm -hmm. even though it was a kind of detrimental situation and everything. So I, I could see these snippets of, you know, this kind of natural beauty or this kind of natural transformation that's taking place much, much deeper than I think the politics, the politics in the Maya here is kind of sucking my not self into that, but, but uh, there's something else happening also. And, uh, mm, mm, mm. Uh, that's right. I think, I think also with people being in lockdown that people are spending a lot of time in their own aura. Yeah. You know, exactly. that, uh, not interacting so much. Um, Julia, yeah. I'm wondering for you, because you're 4037, and one of my friends was talking about his sister, who's uh, the 4037, and that it's been not easy to not be able to touch other people and hug you know, that because the touch is where you really, you feel the other person with the touch. And that when he hugged his sister, they both wore masks and they hugged that, that uh, she had this huge sigh and just started crying because she hadn't hugged anyone. So I wonder how that's been for you. Yeah, especially as the one who lived over 
around 10 years in the hippie community being surrounded uh -huh. and hugged and kissing every day. And now not only I'm in the quarantine, I'm in the country where I literally don't know anyone. Yes. <laughs> don't speak the language. Yeah. Uh, but luckily enough, I have a tribal uh, partner who is also 40, uh, 37. And uh -huh. on top of it, he's a Latino. So, uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah, so they, that's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> I get covered on that part. Yeah, my granddaughter is married to a Colombian man, a Latino, and so, yes, very juicy. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, mine is from Uruguay. It's almost like the conditioning is the 4037 <laughs> for all of them. Yeah, and we both cross off planning. I'm a civilization and his mutation. But yeah, it, it really makes things uh, much easier for yeah. both of us. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good. So do you have an idea what you might like me to do? I'm pretty open if from our talking you feel... I have a, a, propose, a pr proposition uh, based on what I've heard here. Me too, how about it? Huh? I say me too, how about okay. the <laughs> sentence that Marion said? I was like, yes. that's what I want you to talk about. <laughs> say it, Julia, what, what, what was that? For me, it was the, the, the sentence about the relaxation. Is oh, relaxation. relaxing into the form. Uh -huh. Your uniqueness as means of surviving. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But Christo, go ahead. No, 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 it's, it's, it's exactly the same. I would just, I would have phrased it differently, but, but basically, I mean, living in our forms, living who we are, basically, uh, uh -huh. I mean, who we are comes with, uh, a sense of um, feeling ple ple pleasurable, right? Uh, I was thinking more in terms of when, basically, and maybe this could be a third line team, actually. That's uh, you what know, I was thinking, of really, course. You know, it's super practical. Mm -hmm. A practical, a, the practical, uh, the practical living out of the knowledge, basically. How do you feel about it? Mary, mm. do, do you mm. respond to this? What, what came up for me when you said third line, it was like, because I wasn't thinking of lines and it was like, hmm, and it was my mind. So I don't know if it's true or not, but what came up was, hmm, maybe it's a first line because it's foundation. Yeah, sure. I don't know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Know, because it really is the living, the experiment is the foundation for everything. Absolutely. I don't know. Absolutely. No, 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 no. I think that's, uh, I, I respond to it. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm responding to it. I just, my mind, you know, how my, how my open mind <laughs> was just, you know, seeing something yeah, different. Me too. But I, that's why I said, I don't know. My open mind is going first line because it's the very foundation that everything is built absolutely, on. Absolutely, absolutely. Living uh, that would also tie in well with uh, on the first line day. We would also have uh, Andrea giving the introduction to the sign. Uh, I, I mean, I, we we are gonna we are gonna head into the peculiar peculiarities of our time, anyways. I think it's yeah. good to start with something that really uh, showcases what the knowledge is here for. What Ra kept saying over and over again: strategy, and authority, and the uh -huh. basic things, because that in place okay we can go into everything else so that makes total sense for her. but if i also am open if you feel you would like to have it be somewhere else that i'm fine with that too you know because maybe you don't want two two well, beginnings like that you know with andrea um uh just give me a second ladies i need to change the battery on my camera uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, for this yeah, once we start working on the actual schedule, we will uh -huh. we will be exact in um, in uh, where you want. We'll me. basically yeah. see how it all falls into into and, the pattern. And I'll be in in uh, Europe at that time, so the time will be easy for me. Um, 
Yeah, even though we kind of aiming to to make it easy for everyone. Uh huh. I know this, <laughs> which means it's nighttime in Europe. Yeah, just like now. I mean, that's the that's the that's the timing, right? So right. you are now in Arizona, and yeah, we are in Europe. We also have time difference. Uh, I'm one hour earlier than Cristo. Yeah, and so uh, yeah. But would you be open to uh, send us kind of a short description and the name of, uh, of what you are offering, the way you, you feel and perceive it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, do you want it written or do you want like a little video clip? We can make a little video and then I can transcribe it. What, whatever you know I, I, if, if you would respond to a video i think that would be very valuable uh, because uh -huh. we, we are making we're going to promote all the teachers anyways through banners and stuff so so we will take some of what you say in that video and we use it on the banner and then uh, uh -huh. further on uh, so i my sense is that um uh, people don't know everyone all the teachers and all the people who and i i feel like the video clip they get a, a little bit of a taste of someone absolutely they get absolutely. to know oh i'm gonna skip that one or <laughs> whatever yeah know? it's more and, tangible in the way uh-huh uh-huh mm -hmm. because i know when i do my immersions people always ask well you know, do I have to have a reading? What are the prerequisites? I said, no, you can be brand new to human design. I don't care. But the only thing I really want you to do is just check out some of my videos because I may not be for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I may not be the person for you. So why come if and pay that money if you don't have a sense already, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, it could help. You see something, Julia. I can see you see something. <laughs> That's, uh, I, I just have that experience in my, uh, in, in my education history when I, I was really, really running to become an LYD guide. So, uh -huh. and I'm a one three, you know, so I wanted to get the whole perspective. I'm also very fluent in Hebrew and I'm a Russian speaker. And in the Russia, we have, a, you know, we have a Russian established education. We have Ukrainian schools and there's so many teachers in Europe and I just wanted to study everywhere. So I was taking courses one after another. My whole budget went all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> and then I needed the I needed this course, you know, this course. And I was like, okay, I don't want to take it with teachers I already been with. So I started looking around and I found this course exactly at that time. And I was like, who is that teacher? She had the Instagram, she had her website and there was zero videos with her. And I'm like, whatever. I mean, people write about her, so I'll take the course. And I'm gonna tell you, I and she was also projector, also one three. So I was like, of course, it's gonna be yeah, amazing. Right. <laughs> She's like me, you know. I couldn't stand her voice. Uh, I kind of skipped half of classes, and then I uh, took a, the same course with other teachers because I just couldn't make it. So yeah. Uh, and yeah. she's amazing teacher. It's like it's nothing no, yeah, wrong with it, her. It's not personal. I mean, this, yeah. this for me not is personal. the beauty. It's not personal, you know, it's like, it's, it's our fractal. If yeah. we, you know, that that's really it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess that was, that was a good word, uh, Marianne. Yeah, that's what I, what I really want to do is, is, is to, to, to gather the fractal we are on and really kind of like, whoa, here we are. And then, uh -huh. uh, you know, like a good, good circus and then the, Make some noise, and and uh, and I think that will be very valuable of fast tech communities expanding uh, to do that. I mean, you're all doing so great work individually. It's just an honor to to get you all under one umbrella. It's amazing. Oh, I think I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, I remember about ten years ago for Human Design America, I. 
I did a three day workshop where there were all these different teachers and each one talked for an hour and then there was a break so people could have lunch or something. And, and um, uh, I, I know that people really loved having everyone together like that. It was all online. So it was like really um, a wonderful way for, you know, all the people out there to, let's say, listen to Linda in one place and listen to yeah, Andre. Yeah. And, you know, all the other, all the other people who have been in human design yeah. and they're all over the world and, and they have something to, uh, and they go to one place and, you know, it's like one and then another and, uh, and your structure is, is how many days again and how many hours per day? Yeah. Julia? Oh, we are aiming to three and a half days. So from mm -hmm. 21st to 24th. And it's, it's, we it's 24 sure hours times three, basically. It's kind of being built up, but we are aiming for about 12 hours a day. Wow, wow, wow. And, and then also everything's aim recorded so people yeah. who could Exactly, come. exactly. Wow. No other way. I mean, if you just stay there nonstop, your brain is going to explode. It's, it's wow. just not human. So that's what we are, we are planning to offer everything recorded. You, the participants can, can continue studying. So in the way we're building the library. Yeah. Wow. That's great. We will also have a, we would try to, what you just mentioned about the human design community and how it's been online. I mean, that's, it's a big inspiration for me, actually looking back these recordings with Ra and this Jovian TV from, you know, mid 2000, early 2000. I mean, it was before I heard about smartphones and videos. So they were really early about that. And that, I think it, it, it is a testimony to the knowledge. Uh, that it works online to do this, but also yeah. that it's all over the globe. So it's actually a very good medium for us to, to meet online. And, uh, mm -hmm. and I think it's very, very enriching to, to have different nationalities, have different approaches. It, it's, um, that's the real fun. Yes. And, <laughs> and, you know, human design began before the internet. So it was like, you know, Ra had to do it live. And, you know, I remember, uh, sending my fax with my credit card information to sign up for uh, one oh, of wow. your classes. You know, I could fax it. You know, I mean, I mean it's just uh, yeah, so crazy. Yeah, I love ah, that's it. great. That's really, really great. And somehow you managed to study online before Zoom was even in this uh -huh. reality. Yeah, yeah, I forget what we used back then, that we went through a few different things. Um, but I don't, we didn't see him talking. You only could see the PowerPoint. Uh -huh. And his voice, that's how I it see. was. Uh -huh, yeah. uh, and Zoom is wonderful. I think this is what has really made the difference because we get to actually see the person you get a feeling from seeing yeah 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 I knew like, like i haven't met either of you but i get a feeling you know <laughs> you know as i give when i'm giving readings i refuse to give readings without the video <laughs> Uh -huh. It's impossible, to, impossible. Oh, yeah, really? <laughs> you have to go right into them, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we will also synthesize some, some entertainment into it. We will have some live concerts uh, from uh, most likely from, from Julia's husband, Pepe. Uh, he's an amazing musician and... Uh, it's a band from Hungary um, that is going to play for us. And they, they have some experience doing it live for festivals already uh, with kind of visuals in their video and everything. And, uh, and we will have some guided meditation by uh, some really good people. So, uh, Oh, fabulous. This is, this is great. When, and also I flashed on, I don't know if he would be available, but 
I have a really dear friend who was, uh, who's a musician and um, he used to lead like music group in Pune One in the seventies uh, for oh. Osho. And um, I had written a poem called uh, The Secret of Waiting and it just mm -hmm. came out the words. And I hated it because it was just words and I wanted it to be a song. So he actually uh, created the song. I, I can send it to you guys if you would like. Please, that would be amazing. And yeah. he might, it's it's all about waiting. And uh -huh. it, it poured out of me after um, it was the first three months of my experiment because I was so radical that it was like really intense. But um, um, yeah, I, I'll send it to you guys. Please, and that would be amazing. And, and I can give you his email if you're interested or, you know, see if he uh, would be open to sing it or you could just play the recording even, you know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, something like that. Cool. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Very good, nice. Cool. cool. I love it. Very good. <laughs> So you, you have the recording available. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'll, I'll email it to you when we get off. Amazing. And I've got the words and a little bit of the story of how it came about. And yeah, cool. Great, great, great. So do, do you we have a date, I guess? Do, oh. We have a plan. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It feels mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to yeah. ask you if you want to like take time to kind of formulate uh -huh. or we can just record now a little bit like what comes out of you and then use it, this as the uh -huh. material so I can start working on the visual part and the text part. I'm, I'm trying to be practical. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, no, I think um, I, I'll just do it alone. Um, are you, I have Zoom also. I can just do a little recording and then send you the link to that. Perfect. Because it, it's, um, it's me with me then and I just let it come out, whatever it is. So it basically it's about relaxing, right? Nice. Beautiful. Nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's important for this time because I, I would say that it's not something that most people feel right now. What may, did you have? May I add one thing? Uh -huh. I'm kind of seeing the whole structure of the festival here. And, and uh, we, we plan to have an opening ceremony for the, for the festival mm -hmm. um, uh, with, uh, with Dirk Nellens and Nisarg uh -huh. in a type of reflector uh, forecast for the next round type of thing. Maybe we could move that to an ending ceremony, Julia. And we can move your uh, your uh, event to some kind of opening ceremony because it's kind of for me it makes sense because we are opening up then with grounding basically into our type into kind of that very core element of this knowledge and then uh, and that also fits also for your schedule since you're available in, in the beginning basically uh, so maybe yeah. we could, we could because I think having an ending ceremony is is might, might be even with the reflectors, basically. That's actually a really nice idea because that's that's how they will also reflect on the whole process of the yeah and yeah bring their own uh, reflections and yeah. I, I'm open to whatever, Julia. Do you? You need to digest a little to get clear. No, you know already. Not at huh? this point. I mean. Uh huh. This okay. I, I think I think this this helped us actually. This helped us to to restructure it. That's that's how I experienced also Darshana and Andrea for me in the first. They helped, you know, as you're helping us now to co-create it and getting the final details into place. So this is uh, this is just amazing. Now I see it more clearly in front of me. Actually, everything. So. That's called yeah. co-creation. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> and and it's also alive. So 
it may change again when you talk to somebody else. So sure. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't stay that it ha it's going to be this, you know. I and that's also the reason why we don't come up with a schedule first thing, yeah. But we yeah. are kind of dancing yeah. together, and I, I, I don't know if you saw the flyer that I created, but it's very airy. It's it's airy also graphically, and it's airy in the that? content. I will you send it to you. Oh wow! So you're you can do those kind of things. She is amazing, uh, Marianne. She just whips up stuff in uh, no time. It's it's incredible. Yeah, I used <laughs> to be a professional photographer um, two lifetimes ago. So uh, oh. yeah, that's kind of a skill I got I got from my past. Wow! Wouldn't it be amazing to create a photo book? with just a couple of words underneath that talk about the transformation. I don't know, it just flashed there, you know? <laughs> Human design, I mean, he talks so much. There's so many words out there. There's so many classes. There's so much information. And to, to have an image that really says something you know i love yeah anyway i just that just came up actually I that's exactly what i've been doing for quite a while i've been just like listening to ra and just like getting one sentence and making mm. the beautiful like quote uh card oh, with the nice designs and it's been one wow. of my hobbies <laughs> they would be amazing to have them made into postcards Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe that's that what we're gonna do um, throughout the throughout the marathon. Just gather all the uh -huh. all the things and then create kind of a PDF. That's a beautiful idea. Yeah, we we'll also my, have, I have the eleventh gate, and now the my Ajna is defined. So it's like <laughs> an idea <Nice>. machine. <laughs> Yeah, I have it twice actually as well, but in the yeah. open Ajna, so it's it likes yeah. to pick up things from around. Yeah, cool. We will uh, also have a painter actually. We'll paint a painting uh, during the three days. It's a reflector from Hungary, Thea. She, she painted uh, a painting of Ra uh, uh, on the festival in Romania last year. And it is uncanny how she's very good with details, like a photocopy of a thing I show her and she can make a photo. Amazing photo. I mean, it, it was, it was almost feeling his presence there somehow. I never met him, but, but I kind of have a very strong sense of him anyway. So uh, she will come back and do something like this from her studio in, 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 uh, in Budapest and then the, Oh, I love it. And it's actually, I mean, I opened the inspiration here. I'm kind of giving her some the points to go after, but but we haven't really nailed it yet. But but more of a collage of the whole community and and uh, not only raw this time, but but a bit more also. I think. Uh, yeah. Wow. I love it. I, I'm really getting a feeling of it. It's it's. Let, let me just share the photo with you here, as I have you here, because uh, uh -huh. of your in the energy here. Yeah, that was amazing. It was also huge, two two meters by two meters. Wow! Wow! Yeah, here it is. We'll go and share it. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow. This day on the left here. Yeah, uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Definitely can feel raw. Uh huh. There we have his photo there. Wow. So, uh, yeah, we will also have some things to synthesize in a bit of a festival feeling. So people uh -huh, having uh -huh. things to come to and then. Uh, yeah, you know, celebration is such an important part of being alive, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and human design can be um, so mental, 
you know, for so many people learning, learning and all of it going in. And there's such a joy for being alive, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. I remember in the early days of doing classes with Ra, he would ask me to organize them. And I would always bring a CD player with music that I really like for breaks, you know? So when he would go smoke and have his coffee, we would put the music on and generators and others would get up and we would just start dancing during break because we need to move the body, you know? Yeah, so exactly. Um, yeah. It's such a, an expression to singing and dancing. It's, it's, it's <laughs> such a way to express the joy that's inside. Yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know Christiana from Norway. She's a, uh... A friend of mine and uh, or a colleague of mine, and she, she's amazing. She's a projector, and she has um she's she has long experience on Zoom already, guiding people in his in her work. So it's going to be very exciting to see what we can make of it. Uh -huh. Actually, being a big group of people, it. and uh, she's using human design in her ways, uh, in kind of journeying into the centers basically, and uh, being a projector, she she. She has some really experience of how it takes in some center. So it's, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, we we'll be ex excited to see how it works. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. wow. mm -hmm. And something that will be there for, because it's all going to be recorded. It's going yeah. to be there for, you know, a long time. So people can come at any time and, and partake, even if they miss this, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's beautiful. Wow, cool. Okay, ladies, uh, I had a long Zoom. I would love, I, I, I was thinking, why don't we all move to the same uh, island or something? All, all of us human designers, we seem to have such a good time with each other. But, uh, <laughs> I already been on Zoom for many, many hours already now. So uh, I think oh, I should do Enough really. already. Enough is we, enough. We, <laughs> enough is enough also for a generator. <laughs> thank you so much, Marianne. It was uh, amazing to meet you. And uh, thank you, Julia. And, uh, mm -hmm. Stay in touch, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. I will, um, yeah, we are on the email already, so it, it's, all, it's all good, so yeah. Let's it's take it. easy, so, yes, yeah, and I'll send you the flyer and we'll be, and the we'll be waiting for your little video and uh -huh. dancing, see what happens. Uh-huh, I love it, I love <laughs> it. It's, it's, for me, it's, uh, oh, I do have one question. Do, I don't need to have slides or anything, do I? I can just talk? Yeah, absolutely, okay. absolutely. Good. That's that's what we are creating. If you want to have slides, you can have slides. If you don't want to have slides, you don't. Good. Because I feel just to keep it very simple and share. This was much more fun. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I love it. <laughs> very right. good. Bye-bye. Well, Thanks for now, yeah. ladies. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.